Okay, folks, we're getting ready to pour this concrete. He's coming in here. As many of you that have done concrete knows, once the concrete truck shows up, there's not a whole lot of time for commentary. You just have to take, get with it and work until all the concrete's poured. You have a limited amount of time, to get things done. Just to rehash what we did, we used a two by six form board, pressure treated, and we pinned that with concrete stakes all the way around the edges and backfilled against it uh, with the topsoil, sand, that sort of thing. We're using a 3000 PSI concrete and we put a half inch rebar on 18 inch centers and we moved to 12 inch centers where the 3000 gallon water tank is going to set. Uh, that equals 24,000 pounds of water. Uh, that's one of the reasons we went with a five and a half inch concrete slab reinforced. The temperatures the morning of the pour started out at about 14 degrees. And the concrete company asked me if I wanted them to add hot water to the mix. I was not anticipating the temperature to jump to 40 degrees in a short amount of time. And because of that, the concrete was a little bit harder to work than usual because it started setting up faster. Hi folks. We have got the concrete poured. Now, I'm not gonna to get too close to it because I'm not a concrete man. And it ain't the prettiest concrete I've ever seen. Uh, it's almost the prettiest I've ever done though. So I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. So we got the concrete poured, got some boards up to keep the cows off of it. We had quite a bit of concrete left over. But, Deb can use them for lawn ornaments or something. Cause we, we, we were busy with the concrete. Glance over it real quick, look. Wasn't that pretty? <laughs> you move real fast, it's pretty. Uh, we got the little, st we got the little step um, framed up this morning, or no, the other day. And uh, we, we got it all poured. And you always wanna order more than what you need. I ordered four yards. Yeah. It might have been, I don't know, a half a yard too much. They said 375 on the calculator, and I added the step. So now they've got a nice little step. They can dust off their feet. They can put my boot rake out there, boot scraper, be able to go in and out. It's going to be kind of nice. So we're going to leave it alone today, let it dry, and then we're going to come back tomorrow, start cutting our rafter tails off, put the rest of our lathing on. We got to wait for the the tank to get here in order to frame up the end but then we can order our metal and we're on the metal as soon as as soon as we get the tank in there so when you see us again we will be lathing we'll be back on top lathing cutting off boards cutting off stuff with chainsaw walking around up there uh acting like we're adrenaline junkies so we'll take and we'll see you another day <laughs>